Nanaimo RCMP have a warning for Vancouver Island's Indo-Canadians. There is a telephone lottery scam making the rounds and it is targeting the Indo community. The warning comes after a Nanaimo woman received a call about winning $50,000. She says the caller spoke in Punjabi and used her faith to keep her on the line. CTV's Jet Bassey has more. Hello? On Saturday, the phone rang, and Mrs. Gore heard what most of us would think is fantastic news. She had just won a lottery. Oh, that's great. I won 50000 sitting at home doing uh, nothing. The person on the other end of the line asked why she wasn't watching a popular South Asian TV channel. They told her that her name had been flashing on the screen for the past three days. And he said, oh yeah, your blessings are heard. You, uh, uh, congratulations, you're a lucky person. The caller was speaking in Gore's native language, Punjabi, and using her religion to keep her hooked. I knew something wasn't right, but I was waiting for the catch. How long would it take for them to ask me for my account? After 20 minutes of talking to more than three managers, the catch came. They wanted Gore to go to her nearest TD bank and deposit a $675 fee to release the $50,000 check. I said, no, I'm not giving you any fee. You can dock it off and send me the check. I'll go pick it up from TD. He goes, no, do you not want your lottery? I said, no, I don't want my lottery, and I'm not giving you any money. And then he hung up. Gore didn't take the bait. She asked questions and stayed sharp. I've never had somebody call me in Punjabi, talking to me, I won it, and all these blessings, yes, the blessings really got me into talking to them. She eventually hung up and called her television provider and the RCMP about the swindle. Bill use anything to get the hook, and the hook is something that will convince them that it's a legitimate call. What you have to realize is that if you have legitimately won a prize, nobody would ever ask you to give them money to win that prize. From the get-go, Gore knew it was a con, but she fears that these people will use the Punjabi language, South Asian TV networks, and religious hooks to prey on the elderly. There's all these older people watch their own language TV, and uh, you know anybody who can drive any these people drive even though they don't speak English, they can go there. They're thinking they want. One fifty thousand uh, dollar because it's Punjabi channel. She is now warning others about the shady phone calls, warning members of her community that when something sounds too good to be true, it is. No matter what language the news is delivered in. Jet Bassey, CTV News, Nanaimo.